Okay, so hopefully you guys now are getting in the habit of realizing what we do on every single day. Um, Monday we go over our vocabulary terms and um, we also go over our strategies for the week. Okay, and our strategy for this week is character setting plot and those literary, literary elements. And um, now we're going to be going over um, our vocabulary terms and then just reading our, a little story with those terms in them so we can kind of understand those vocabulary words a little bit better. Okay, so right now what I want you to do is there is um, on this slide presentation all your vocabulary words and then also the definitions of each one. So what I want you guys to do now is just look at those words and see if you can identify them or if you've heard of any of them. Just see which ones you know right now, okay? And um, so press pause on this video, see what words you know, and then come back and we will go over the words and then also read our little story. Okay, let's start going over our words. So the first one is badger. It says a burrowing, flesh-eating mammal, okay? Now mammal is a type of animal, right, that usually has fur and also um, does not lay eggs. So we know it has fur, a mammal has fur and does not lay eggs. This is just a type of animal and I kind of pulled a picture up on my phone because I wanted you guys to be able to see it a little bit better. That's what a badger is. Okay. So hopefully that helps give you a little bit better of a picture. So it's a, so it's a burrowing, flesh-eating mammal. So let's look at the next word. It's bank. Okay, and it's not the bank that you go to to get your money, right? This is a different kind of bank. It's a rising ground at the edge of a river, lake, or sea. Okay, so it's kind of, if you have your river or lake or sea, if you have um, your water right here, it's kind of the edges of that water. So it's the right bank or the left bank. It's that land right by that water. Okay, so it's the rising ground at the edge of the lake, river, or sea. That's what a bank is. Bristled is our next word. Bristled says stood up straight as hair or fur. Okay, so if you're, um, or if an animal's hair bristled, it means it stood up straight. So maybe they're scared or um, scared of something or they're frightened of something. Okay, that's what bristled means. It's whenever something stood up straight, like hair or fur on an animal. Or maybe sometimes when you get goosebumps, your hair bristles on your arm because um, it's just standing up, okay? So that's what bristled means. Jointed, having one or more places where two things or parts come together. So it's whenever two things come together, they're jointed or they're joined together. Okay, so that's what jointed means. Then we have um, our other word is patched, okay? Patched, mending with a scrap of material. So if you have a patch in your pants, if you have a hole in your pants sometimes, um, what they used to do is take a piece of material and they would patch it up. So they would cover that hole up with a separate piece of material. So that's what patched means. Mended with a scrap of material. Um, our next word is ruffled. Made to look as if trimmed with strips of material gathered together. So it's kind of when they take material and they um, ruffle it or they pin it together. Okay, so it's um, if you have like girls a lot of the times have ruffles in their shirts. Um, it's just bunched together material. Kind of makes your outfits a little cute. So that's what ruffled is. Made to look as if trimmed with strips of material material gathered together. And then our very last vocabulary word is rushes. Marsh plants with hollow stems. So marsh plants are like plants that you find maybe by the river and they have hollow stems. Hollow meaning there's nothing inside. Okay, so that's what rushes mean. And again, these words are just gonna kind of help us understand our story tomorrow a little bit better. And then also understand the story we're gonna be reading here called Foggy River Schoolhouse, okay? So let's go ahead. Um, this story is actually on the PowerPoint slide as well. Okay, and this is where I wanted you to look at those vocabulary words that were highlighted. Um, the definitions are, are actually on the next slide presentation. I kind of forgot about that. So your definitions are on the next slide presentation. 
And these words, um, these are our words, but there's no definitions here. So, um, Foggy River Schoolhouse is what our story is called today. Um, let's go ahead and read. I want you to follow along and read with me, okay? My older brother, Edward, got me in trouble today. He wanted to make me laugh. So, he threw sticky burrs at me during Miss Osgood's arithmetic lesson. Do you guys know what burrs are? A lot of the times if you go in a woods or um, like a wooded area, they're found in nature. They stick to your clothes, so that's what burrs are. Or a lot of the times whenever animals, um, like your dog, if they go to the woods or if they um, go running around one day and they come back and they have these things sticking to their fur, that's what a burr is. Some of the burrs landed on my desk and were easy to throw right back at Edward. But a few of those bristled burrs got caught in the folds of my ruffled petticoat. Okay, so... Um, these burrs have bristles, kind of like a brush has bristles. Um, it's these things that stick up, right? But these burrs have bristles and it makes them cling to your clothes. Um, <clears throat> so I had such trouble getting them unstuck from the cloth that Edward couldn't hold in his laughter. Miss Osgood was not happy and she sent both of us to the corner to face the wall. My teacher, Miss Osgood, calls me a country girl because I'd rather play outside in the rushes than sit inside and learn arithmetic. Who would blame me? That schoolroom can get pretty cramped. All of the students from Froggy River learn in the same room. I do love to practice drawing the jointed letters of the alphabet, but I'd much rather do it in the soft bank of the open creek where I might catch a glimpse of a badger or a beaver. Maybe when I get older, I'll like being at home or at school more. Then I'll be able to chop wood for the stove and fetch water, which means I'll get to go outside Edward is older, so he gets to do those chores. My school chore is to clap the, eraser, the erasers. Even at home, my chores keep me inside. Tonight, I have to mend the hole in Edward's patched flannel shirt. Maybe I'll choose a mis mismatched color for his patch. Okay? So we know, um, too, that sentence is funny because she's patching his flannel, right? So he's the one throwing these burrs at her and getting her into trouble. And she's the one that gets to patch his, patch his flannel shirt. So he has a shirt that has a hole in it and she needs to patch it. So she needs to put a different piece of material on there. And she's saying she's gonna mismatch it. So it's not gonna look right on his shirt is what she's saying. So this story, um, this girl likes the outdoors and um, being in the country and going on the banks of the river and all this kind of stuff rather than being in school and that's why her teacher calls her a country girl. She likes doing um, more of the outside outdoorsy stuff than the indoorsy stuff. Okay, so and this is kind of how um, the one of the characters in our story is going to be whenever we read that. Um, and our story this week is called On the, Blank on the Banks of Plum Creek. Okay, so go ahead, review those vocabulary words on the next slide presentation. And then it also gives your, you your assignment for this week's vocabulary terms. So make sure you start doing that too. You have, it's a little bit different this week. Usually I have you drawing a picture for each word, but this week um, your assignments are gonna be on Spelling City. So it's gonna be kind of like Spelling City, of, spelling city assign, assignments that you usually do for spelling but this week it's for vocabulary terms and it's gonna probably give you those definitions and those words too, so you can start practicing those. So whenever we get to the test on Friday, you know all of those words, okay? So it's just kind of a little bit of practice for you guys. Um, go ahead and continue on with your slide presentation. Tomorrow we are going to begin reading On the Banks of Plum Creek. If you've ever heard of um, Laura Ingalls, um, what's, I'm trying to think of, there's movies, or not movies, but TV shows for um, 
these books. There's it's actually a series of books. It's called um, Little House on the Prairie. So if you've ever heard of those TV shows before, that's what this book is kind of from. It's the same characters in that story. Okay, so it kind of gives you a little bit of um, an idea of what we're going to be reading tomorrow. So go ahead and continue on with your slide presentation. Um, look at your vocabulary terms again, and make sure you watch that video on the next slide so you know what you have to do.